ever visited Ghana, you've ever lived in Ghana, and you do not own a dashiki. <laughs> you did not go to Ghana. Period. Hello, welcome to my channel once again. Once again, um, today I am bringing you a video of a Nigerian lady or ladies who came to Ghana and are sharing their experiences visiting Ghana. And I think they actually schooled in Ghana. She is sharing her experience of Ghanaians, how Ghanaians are, and what she experienced. She, I think she was mostly talking about Ghana's culture. You know, the way Ghanaians don't joke with their culture and Ghanaians love their culture. Like when you come into the country, it's very evident. Everywhere you go, you see that stuff's about Ghana. Like unlike Nigeria, everyone is trying to form you know, but I don't want to talk much. Let's go into the video, watch, and come back and talk. Ghanaians love their culture so much. I'm like, wow. It was a shocker to me. They speak their language to anybody. If you just have a dark skin, as long as you're not white, Ghanaians will start speaking their sweet to you. Is it sweet or twi? Sweet to you. <laughs> to you. Before you know it, you're already hearing Ahmedama say, eh, 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 I'm like, chill. I'm not from here, please. English. English, please. <laughs> they love their culture. They, they're not ashamed to speak their language. Nigeria. In Nigeria, it's as if speaking your own language is a crime. Everybody just wants to form, like, uh, mm -mm. You, you don't need to know. We're not as proud as, we are proud in Nigeria, but we're not as proud as how Ghanaians are. They speak their language everywhere, anytime, anybody. They're not ashamed to do that. So in case a Ghanaian sees you and starts speaking Ghana, <laughs> don't be surprised. They love their culture also to the point where there's, they have their flag literally everywhere, all the roads. In fact, even cars are painted their color i'm like why am i seeing yellow and you see their cars painted their flag you see their flag lined up in a lot of places i don't see a lot of that in nigeria instead in nigeria you will see china flag you see us flag you see all other countries flag and one of nigeria in ghana they will line up all their flags now have you even come to their market you they, i'm like the clothes you guys wear is it just your black color that you guys wear it's so loud i think i'll put a video up here for you to see like how their market looks like even their houses i've seen some houses that were painted ghana flags yellow they painted yellow green and then some touch of black like <laughs> it's a good thing everything just has their color it must have some you know significance of ghana in everything they do it's really beautiful we don't flaunt our colors like that in nigeria in fact nigerians when you see flags on people's profile is when they are in diaspora they'll wait until they leave the country then they'll put nigerian flag on their on their bio i think it's the other way around for Ghanaians. they flaunt their flags everywhere i observed that they love nature in ghana they have a lot of flowers greeneries trees well maintained cleaned up they love they just love nature so it makes their streets to look so beautiful i love that about them and it makes everywhere colorful it makes their buildings even finer also on their streets you know how like in nigeria when there's football match people have to go to bars or um viewing centers most of them you have to pay to watch football some of them you don't pay but if it's like a restaurant or a bar you have to buy something buy at least pay all that for you to be able to sit or drink but here in ghana i was shocked to come out yes um, there's a world cup going on they are so supportive of their country on the roads they have these massive tvs giant tvs you know like how you have a um, tv adverts on the roads in Nigeria. Like, they have all those kind of TVs and they are showing their football matches there and people just gather around. You know, 
I was there, I was feeling the energy. I'm like, wow, this is so beautiful. When there's when there's core, everybody's screaming, everybody's flying their color. It's you know, the energy is so cool. I'm like, no, this is not in Nigeria. Well, they have beauty centers in Nigeria, but it's business. Over here, they don't they don't, you know, monetize it. Ever visited Ghana, you've ever lived in Ghana and you do not own a dashiki. <laughs> You did not go to Ghana. Period. <laughs> okay, and guys, Ghana has a special, special place in my heart. And you cannot talk about Accra without talking about Kotoka International Airport. Hey! Well, I came to Ghana in 2015, that was first year. So landing in Kotoka, the old Kotoka International Airport, it was still like standard, like standard international airport. That was the old one, but they've converted it to local. But the new one, they opened it, I think, ending of 2018. Farm. That airport is an airport. Like, no, leave it. But I say leave it. That is one of my best things about Ghana. Their international airport, the Kotoka International Airport. It is top, top. So clearly, you could see that she really, really, really loves Ghana. And one thing that she loves about Ghana is the culture. In the way we don't joke with our culture when it comes to food, when it comes to the clothes we wear, the language everything even the cars you know she lost everything about the country and this is one experience that she had from ghana and i think i really really understand her and i think i've actually heard a lot of people diasporans also say something similar to the way ghanaians love their culture because when you immediately you get to the kotoka international airport for instance the akwaba akwaba means welcome and you will see akwaba hugely written at the top you see this is something that um, Ghanaians don't joke about our culture and i also love that thing because charlie you know ghana is one country that's in the whole of africa when it comes to pan-africanism i don't know what i should say it's leading or now they've diverted i don't know but ghana really it is really the home of pan-africanism and as we all know and she was talking about our Kotoka International Airport, yes, she was talking about uh, when she was coming in, in 2015, she used the Terminal 2. Yeah, but later, it, seem, it seems like when the Terminal 3 was built, she, she started using that side because that side was mainly for international. So she's from Nigeria and it's outside Ghana, so definitely she's going to use the Terminal 3. And when she saw the place, it was very beautiful. I've heard a lot of Nigerians say the same thing, but I also think we can improve because there are airports around the world and we've seen airports, you understand? So, hey, Ghana is doing well, yes, but we can do more. So we should just make sure we, we put in the work and we do more. That's what I can say. I thank you so much for watching. Thank you.